Hello everyone and welcome Sorry. And welcome to Hello everyone and welcome to Indoor Actor Productions, where today, you've already read the title. It's probably the thumbnail too. Um I'm just gonna make this really short, really sweet. Um there are new images that have leaked of the voice is cracked. Of the two um unannounced or previously unannounced even um, NECA Godzilla figure. Now, these are leaks, but judging from the quality of the images, they're probably legit. Um, so, yeah. So, um, <coughs> uh, our first figure is a... Actually, they're both repaints. Again, you've probably already seen them if you're watching this, but yeah, so let's get into it. So, we have a Biolante, like, acid spit version of Godzilla, where he's got, like, all of this, like, the acids all over his face and stuff. And I think that this looks really cool. Um, it does kind of suck that's a repaint. Um, I don't think that I'm gonna get this figure, because I've already, uh, pre-ordered the, uh, normal 89, uh, figure. But, um, this is a nice, <coughs> uh, alternate version of it. Uh, of course, it replicates, uh, the scene from the movie, whatever, Violante spits that, like, acid, like, stuff at him. I'm not really too sure what you call that. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you can see by the quality of these images, like, this looks like something that NECA would do. <coughs> um, and even if this is fake, like, I don't know how this person got, uh, this 89 figure and painted it like this, but yeah. Um, so there is an, like, weird, bio there's like a Biolante acid, um, version of the 89 figure, which I think is really cool, because, um, the 89 figure looks amazing. And, uh, you can even see, uh, the, some of the tail articulation. So, um, yeah, that looks really interesting. Then, we have this. This is the, uh, Kiryu, uh, electricity charge Godzilla. Uh, it's a repaint of the Tokyo SOS Godzilla. Um, <clears throat> now, I am thinking about getting this figure, uh, this repaint, because I haven't pre-ordered the normal Tokyo SOS uh, Godzilla. Um, well, because, well, like, you know, I already pre-ordered the normal 89, um, <clears throat> and the uh, the, the Tokyo SOS Godzilla just didn't really look that interesting to me. This looks awesome. Um, you can see his spines are all blue. They look super nice. Um, and then he's got this electricity, like, glow look to him. Like, it, it looks like he's glowing uh, from the front. And uh, that looks awesome. Like, look at how good that looks. Um, now, this is also based off of a scene from Tokyo SOS. <coughs> Um, it's whenever Kiryu is, like, electric- electrocuting him in the chest, I think. Um, or something like that. I haven't seen Tokyo SOS, so I I'm not too sure. <coughs> but, um, I love that, you know, he's got, uh, blue spines. He doesn't have any atomic breath, as far as I know, which kind of sucks. But yeah, again, you can see the, uh, the tail articulation looks awesome. Uh, it looks like an SH Monster Arts figure, actually. Um, with, uh, the way that the tail looks, like, it looks like, a something that an SH would do. Um, but you can see they've actually added a new articulation joint, um, in the, uh, in the shoulder region, which, um, wasn't, or was, isn't, uh, prominent. I don't think, on the normal Tokyo SOS figure, at least in all of the pr product images, um, it doesn't have this extra joint. Um, so it looks like NECA has gone back and re-sculpted this figure so that it can have that, which is really nice, because um, a lot of people were complaining about how it didn't, about how uh, he didn't have any shoulder articulation, so yeah. Um, but, yeah, th this figure I'm definitely considering getting. Um, <clears throat> it looks awesome. But, uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to let you guys know. Again, really short video. Just 
wanted to get that information out there. So, um, let's watch him, leave a like, subscribe, post notifications, uh, share, you can share it, uh, yeah. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye!